We have said that you can never prove a mechanism is the correct mechanism for that reaction. However, we can determine a mechanism which is plausible for the reaction, and we can rule out mechanisms that don't fit our experimental data. When we have two mechanisms that predict the same rate law, we say that these mechanisms are kinetically indistinguishable. When we have two mechanisms that predict different rate laws, then we say that these rate laws are kinetically distinguishable. We've been using this mechanism as our test case, and we've seen that, that the pre-equilibrium is distinguishable from the steady state case because there is a different dependence on the amount of C in the system. In the pre-equilibrium case, you will recall, we found that the rate was equal to K2 times the equilibrium constant for the first step times the concentration of A times the concentration of C. And when we used excess C, in other words, when we make this a pseudo first order reaction, we find that the rate is equal to K observed times A, but that K observed is linear in the amount of C that I use. In the case of the steady state approximation, I have a more complicated dependence, and the rate of reaction was equal to K1, K2, A times C divided by K minus 1 plus K2 times C. And when I use excess C, I find that the rate is equal to K observed times A, again, first order in A, but my K observed value depends on C in a much more complicated fashion. Because I can measure the dependence of K observed on the amount of C used, I can distinguish between steady state and pre-equilibrium for this mechanism. Let's look at a different mechanism where we have A plus B in equilibrium with an intermediate C, and then C goes on to make products. In the steady state limit, the concentration of C at any time is equal to K 1 A times concentration of B divided by K minus 1 plus K 2. In the pre-equilibrium approximation, the concentration of C is going to be equal to the equilibrium constant for the first reaction times A times B. The overall rate of reaction is how fast the products are made, and that is equal to K2 times C. So in the steady state approximation, my rate is equal to K2 times K1 divided by K minus 1 plus K2 times the concentration of A times the concentration of B, or K observed times the concentration of A times the concentration of B, where K observed is this combination of rate constants and is constant and does not depend on any concentrations. In the pre-equilibrium reaction, the rate is equal to K2 times the equilibrium constant times A times B, or, again, K observed times A times B, and K observed is equal to K2 times KEQ, again, a constant not dependent on any concentrations. So if I measure this reaction, I will find that 
the reaction is second order overall, first order in A and first order in B. And it doesn't matter which mechanism it goes through, I get the same rate law. I cannot distinguish between these rate laws because my equilibrium, con my observed rate constant does not depend on any concentrations and I will observe the exact same behavior no matter which mechanism this goes through. So I would say in this case that steady state and pre-equilibrium are kinetically indistinguishable. I cannot tell the difference between those two possibilities.